Hi, my name is Malcolm and I'm a PSLE Science Specialist here at the Pig Lab. Welcome to another episode of PSLE Science Made Simple. In this video, I'll be going through a past year examination question on the topic of animal life cycles. I've also prepared this question for you to download for free by clicking a link in the description box below. So, let's get started. Question 7. The diagram below shows the life cycles of animals A and B. In part A, based on the diagram above, state one similarity between the life cycles of A and B. Whenever we need to compare between the life cycles of two animals, there are actually a total of four different ways that we can compare. What is the first way? The first way that we can compare is actually the number of stages. So if we look at animal A, how many stages does it have in its life cycle? Animal A has three stages. What about animal B? Animal B also has three stages. So is this a similarity or a difference? This would be a similarity between them. Now besides comparing the number of stages, what is another way we can compare? We can also compare based on whether the young looks like the adult. So whenever we compare whether the young looks like the adult, we call this the resemblance. So taking a look at animal A, does the young resemble the adult? Definitely. But what about animal B? Does the young of animal B resemble the adult? No. Which means, is this a similarity or a difference? This would be a difference between them. Besides resemblance, what is another way we can compare? We can also compare based on whether the young undergoes molting. So let's write that down. Does the young of animal A undergo molting? No. What about for animal B? Also no. Which means, is this a similarity or a difference? This would be a similarity between them. Now, what is the last way we can compare? We can also compare based on the habitat or where the animals live. So when we look at animal A, does the animal live on land or in water? Animal A lives on land. But what about animal B? Animal B is a frog and we know that the frog can live both on land and in water. So is this a similarity or a difference? This will be a difference between them. So to answer part A, we need a similarity. Can we write the number of stages? Definitely. So let's write down the answer. We can write down that both animals A and B have a three-stage life cycle. But is this the only similarity we can choose? Can we also write down that both animals A and B do not undergo molting? If you write molting as your answer, you would actually get this question wrong. And why is that? From part A, look at these keywords. They said, based on the diagram above. From the diagram above, can we tell whether the young of animal A or animal B can undergo molting? No, we cannot. And because we cannot tell, we cannot write molting as our answer. Next, let's look at part B. For part B, they said, based on the diagram above, so let's highlight that again. They want us to state, one difference between the stages in life cycles of A and B. Since we have already written out the ways that we can compare, what are the differences between them? We can either choose resemblance or habitat. So if we write our answer for resemblance, how should we phrase our answer? We can write down that the young of animal A resembles the adult and remember, since we want a difference, what's the keyword we must use? We must use the word, but the young of animal B does not resemble the adult. Now, can we write habitat as our answer as well? If you wrote habitat as your answer, you would get this question wrong. And why is that? Remember, what are the keywords that we highlighted? We said based on the diagram above. So based on the diagram above, can you tell what are the habitats of animal A and B? No, we also cannot tell. 
So because of that, can we write habitat as our answer? No. Lastly, for part C, based on the diagram above, remember, let's highlight that. They want us to state one characteristic of living things that is shown by both animals A and B. So let's take a look at the diagrams. We can see that the egg is going to hatch to form the young and the young is going to grow into the adult stage. So what is the characteristic of living things shown here? We know that living things can grow. But is this the only possible answer? No. If we take a look at the diagram, we can also see that the frog is able to lay eggs. And when the frog is able to lay eggs, what characteristics of living things are shown here? It means that living things can reproduce. So as long as you give me any one of these two answers, you will get this correct. So let's write down the answer. We know that living things can grow. Or another possible answer is that they can reproduce. Thank you for watching. I hope you have enjoyed this video. If you found this video useful, do give us a thumbs up. If you'd like to check out more videos by us, do click on the links on the right hand side. Last but not least, don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more interesting videos. Thank you and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!